This is how many characters we have across every LEGO Marvel game, so let's take a look at the top 25 and find out which characters are the best. Cue the music. Bring it! Starting off with number 25, you are going to need a bucket and a spade. It's Sandman from LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Sandman within this game is amazing. From turning into this silly looking sandcastle to sliding around New York City. Also, did you know that Sandman's super move within this game is a direct reference to a scene from Spider-Man 3? This is the scene where Spider-Man punches through Sandman, but TT Games being TT Games take it one step further. If I am being brutally honest, the character has very limited abilities, all you can really do is smash Lego walls. That being said, he is just so fun to play, he literally transforms himself into a cannon to hit a simple target. Not to forget his gigantic fists when fighting, and how can you not love being a sandcastle? The teacup is better though. Which team are you on, team sandcastle or team teacup? Let me know in the comments down below. Gliding into number 24. For at god speed spider-man is green goblin surprisingly you may not be aware but green goblin actually has one of the most overpowered abilities across every lego game so what exactly is this ability well goblins pumpkin bombs within lego marvel 1 outright kills anything and i'm talking about pretty much every character and big fig the only characters who do not perish is deadpool stanley and wolverine due to having regenerating abilities Everyone who has played Green Goblin will be very well aware that there is a huge problem with this ability and that is how most of the time you end up sacrificing yourself for literally a few enemies due to the blast radius being enormous. Due to Green Goblin's overpowered ability, he had to make it onto the list and I do have to say, the flying mechanics within this LEGO game haven't aged all too well. I mean, gliding around New York City, no matter which character you are playing, is always so fun to do and it is a major improvement over LEGO Batman 2's flying. For number 23, a few of you may not agree with me on this pick, and he's a very strange character, but an amazing one at that. And as we progress through the list, the characters become better and better. So, who is this character? It's Lou Ferrigno otherwise known as the Hulk from the 70s. I still can't believe Lego made this a character and it gets even better as Lou Ferrigno even voices himself in the game. I still find it hilarious how he sprays himself green and then Stan Lee comes in and washes it all off. I just had to place him above Green Goblin. Lou Ferrigno has one of the greatest character transformations among all LEGO games. Though LEGO Avengers is seen as the worst of the LEGO Marvel games, not that it is a bad game in any sense, it did go to add some really neat mechanics, which are apparent when playing as Lou Ferrigno Hulk, such as super jumping around Manhattan and then climbing up walls. And yes, 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 if you are wondering, he plays the exact same as Hulk and he even can pick up cars. Wow. Roaring into number 22, give us the Jurassic Park theme, oh yes, it's Devil Dinosaur. Now, LEGO Jurassic World has a huge variety of playable dinosaurs, but for me personally, I think Devil Dinosaur is the best LEGO Dinosaur character we have ever had. On top of this, there is also a massive secret with this character that not many people actually know about. If you play as Rip-Off Wolverine, you can actually ride Devil Dinosaur. The same applies to Moon Girl in LEGO Marvel 2. These are the only two characters who can ride Devil Dinosaur. Another did you know, when you are playing as Huey Jackman or Rip-Off Wolverine, you can actually throw explosive fruit at people. It was a no-brainer. Devil Dinosaur needed to be on the list as he beats all the dinosaurs in LEGO Jurassic World. He can perform a backflip and eat his enemies with a really satisfying special move and like most other big characters he can actually pick up vehicles and then he full on whacks it with his tail sending it flying boom boom shaka laka laka boom everybody walk the dinosaur making his way onto number 21 is mr shiny pants oh yes it's silver surf if you didn't know, Silver Surfer is the most expensive character within LEGO Marvel Super Heroes, costing 1 million studs. For me, Silver Surfer isn't that good. He has the basic civilian fighting style and he can fire out projectiles. 
Jones. So you may be asking, why have I placed him on the list, let alone above the other entries? Well, nothing can beat his flying animation. Everyone loved flying around New York City when they were younger, and the cherry on top of this was doing it using Silver Surfer. Oh man, the sound of his surfboard, and when I was a kid, everything in life was like a Pokemon card. If it was shiny, it was cool, and Silver Surfer is the epitome of this. Ah, Silver Surfer could have been even higher on the list if it wasn't for his basic civilian fighting style. Moving into the top 20, oh yeah, hello, hello, hello there guys, I am Rugged Eagle and if you love Lego games, why not subscribe down below and if you are enjoying the video, a like would mean the world to me, thank you so much. And hey, it is time to pull out the Walkman, dancing into number 20 is Starlord. I don't think I need to explain why Starlord has made it onto the list. You can blast 70s music to your heart's content. But Starlord isn't actually the only character to have the ability to play popular tunes. If you are unaware, in the Infinity War DLC, Groot actually has the ability to pull out a Walkman. And I have to mention Starlord's gravity grenades. They are extremely powerful and can literally clear out a room of enemies. There is one little minor thing that ups sets me about this character and that is how you cannot fly around listening to music that would make him even greater musical ability characters are some of my favorites in lego games and it still angers me how the cantina band members cannot play music in lego Star Wars: the skywalker saga this extremely disappointed me yes star lord and his walkman are a hundred percent worthy of this list now this next character may surprise you because you probably expected him to be in the top 10. Who is this character you may ask? Well it is Fing Fang Foo. Oh now who remembers the first time being this character innocently holding down the character roster button to then being greeted with this gigantic behemoth of a character. I, I love Fing Fang Foom, he is just too big to handle and that is why he is so much fun and they do say the bigger the better. Most people can't handle it when it's that big, hence why he is not playable in most areas due to the size of him. And if you did not know, if you equip Big Head Mode in Lego Marvel 2, he becomes the largest Lego game character. In all honesty, Fing Fang Foom doesn't have barely any abilities except from destroying golden objects and pulling the infamous green handles, hence why he isn't high on the list. Hang on a minute, do you hear that? Oh yeah, barking his way into number 18 is Ghost Rider. Oh, seriously, what a character. Making an appearance in both Lego Marvel 1 and 2, I still say Ghost Rider from Lego Marvel 1 is the better of the two. I have to admit, I hate Ghost Rider's motorcycle in Lego Marvel 2, and that is a strong word, and I mean it here. It has terrible handling, and it feels so slow compared to Ghost Rider's motorcycle in Lego Lego Marvel 1, which is the best Lego game vehicle, hands down. Now, I know I am purely looking at characters here, but Ghost Rider combined with his bike within Lego Marvel 1 is one of the greatest combinations to ever exist. His motorcycle is so rapid and I couldn't stop myself, I was literally riding around New York for ages. This may be a tad bit of nostalgia kicking in here, but if I was asked which variation of Ghost Rider I preferred, I would still argue Ghost Rider from Lego Marvel 1 as the flames look more realistic and better to me. And please comment down below which variation of Ghost Rider you prefer. Do not get me wrong, Ghost Rider from Lego Marvel 2 is still an extremely strong character. I love how you can perform Scorpion's get over here as you pull an enemy towards you and his fighting animations look great. The same could be said for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 1 and if you weren't aware, Ghost Rider is pretty much identical to Whiplash. And oh man, Ghost Rider's motorcycle, I can't stop thinking about it, on second thought it cannot drive up walls. That being said, Ghost Rider is 100% worthy of this position. What killed Devil Dinosaur, the Ice Age. At number 17 we have Iceman. Now, 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 this could either be one of the most fun characters to play or one of the worst, depending on which side you are on. This all narrows down to whether or not you or your co-op partner gets a hold of Iceman. This goes for any LEGO game character 
character with a freeze ability because there is literally nothing you can do to stop it. That Ice Beam is ridiculous. The entire design of Iceman in this game looks so cool, especially when you play as both Iceman and the Human Torch. From sliding around all the time, and TT Games even gave him the ability to glide around using ice, and I did this so much when I was a kid. But the Human Torch is just as good. We all love activating Flame On. I mean, it's Fire vs. Ice, and in LEGO Game Law, Ice always wins due to it being extremely broken, so I've decided to give it to Iceman over Human Torch. Also, did you know when Johnny Storm gets frozen, he actually returns back to normal, which obviously makes sense, but it is a nice little detail, similar to Venom being scared of fire. Swooping back over to LEGO Marvel 2, it is now time to put on your invisibility cloak. No, 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 not that one. For number 16, we have dagger, and for number 15, we have cloak. I never, ever, ever would have expected to place both Cloak and Dagger on the list, but hey, here we are. Being both DLC characters, I am in awe on how well these two have been made, from Dagger with her awesome charge-up attack, and then Cloak, who is undoubtedly one of the best LEGO Marvel characters. Let me explain. For starters, his special move is too satisfying, from spinning around in the air endlessly, then letting go, slamming down into the floor. It is also one of the quickest quickest charge-up abilities within LEGO Marvel 2, not to forget how he has a feature which allows him to teleport and activate stealth mode instantly. Then you have his gliding animation, and look how slick this is. The Cloak and Dagger DLC is insanely good in LEGO Marvel 2, you have Mr. Negative in there, who I am sure you all know if you have played Spider-Man PS4, you have Nightmare who flies around on this evil-looking Pegasus. Cloak and Dagger between them share tons of abilities and they even have their own special team up move. The entire character of Cloak and Dagger could have been even high on the list, but from here on all the characters become very hard to top. This next character at number 14 wasn't featured in LEGO Marvel Avengers and a lot of people were very, very upset and even angry. And I can understand why, and this character is... Spider-Man. This was a no-brainer. Everyone loves this character. I had to play Spider-Man on the list and everyone has their own favourite variation of Spider-Man. But I do have to argue that Spider-Man Noir is the best. This may be my love for Spider-Man Shattered Dimensions, but he has an incredible charge-up ability, letting him go full-on gunslinger. His design is unlike all the other Spider-Men, obviously excluding Spider-Ham. Even TT Games heard the people. When everyone wanted Spider-Man in LEGO Marvel Avengers, they delivered a free Spider-Man DLC, which also included Miles Morales. Then in LEGO Marvel superheroes too, they went full on Spider-Man, you have Spider-Ham, you have Spider-Man Noir, you have Spider-Woman, Spider-Gwen, you could go on and on and on. But the best is Spider-Man Noir, just look at him and please let me know in the comments who is your favourite Spider-Man. This solely shows why Spider-Man needed to be on the list, as people begged for him in LEGO Marvel Avengers because he is that great of a character. Talking about LEGO Marvel Avengers, give us the Avengers theme, oh yes, at the unlucky number 13 is Detroit Steel. There really hasn't been all too many big characters with the ability of flight and that is why I particularly love love Detroit Steel and Iron Monger. Detroit Steel is the better of the two because I love his laser. Same goes for Iron Monger because it works like an automatic minigun. I don't know, it just gives me warm memories of Heavy from LEGO Star Wars 3. Remember the level where you demolish a load of battle droids? Oh ho ho. Detroit Steel also comes with a chainsaw which is groovy. I do prefer the visual aesthetic of Iron Monger, but Detroit Steel is better in terms of his animation, such as his slam attack. I mean, Iron Monger simply belly flops the floor. Now, this is something I never, ever, ever knew. Did you know that Detroit Steel can actually access terminals? Yeah, this is so strange for a LEGO game. A big character can now access terminals. I mean, he simply just punches it, making him very useful. Coming in at 
number 12. Have you ever finished a boss fight and then you finally unlock the boss as a playable character and he is nothing like he was in the boss fight? A prime example of this will be Galactus in LEGO Marvel 1. Oh, that character was so disappointing. Well, this isn't the case for number 12. Who is this character, you may ask? It's Ultron. There ain't no strings on me. Now, once you finally unlock Ultron after completing the game, he plays exactly like he was in the final boss fight. I really enjoy how he fires his laser while fighting, and he is one of the very few LEGO game characters to have the ability to call in his own henchmen. I mean, Mordok can do this too, but why would I put Mordok on the list? I mean, look at him. I am Mordok. I mean, Ultron also has a special ability where he throws an enemy into the sky and then just absolutely obliterates them. This special move is so fun to do because if you do it in a level, you kind of throw them out of the map. Though he isn't as good as his creator, I think Ultron is a very underrated LEGO game character who needs more light shed upon him, and from this point onwards, the characters become insanely good, and I mean that. Making his way just outside the top 10 is Magneto. Anyone up for a game of chess? A lot of people are very divided on LEGO Marvel 2. I mean, this is one of my favourite LEGO games, but I understand why so many people love the first game, and I do too. One of the many reasons for my love for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 comes down to the X-Men and the Fantastic Four. I mean, they beat the Inhumans any day. Playing as Magneto makes you feel invincible, floating around in a magnetic plate, firing bolts at people. Excluding Stan Lee, he is the only character to be able to control metal, meaning he is very vital to the game in order to unlock two of the greatest characters. If we ever see a LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 3, we need the X-Men and the Fantastic Four back. TT Games, in my eyes, perfectly captured Magneto in this game. Magneto also has some really good range when fighting enemies, and I love his little frying pan move. Somehow, this next character made his way into the top 10. Many of you may not even know who this character is. So, Master the Rohirrim, riding into number 10, is Black Knight. With three variations of this single character, I had a hard time picking which is the best of the three. You have Black Knight, Sir Percy, Nathan Garrett and Dane Whitman. Starting off with Sir Percy, he has a musical ability and how soothing is this song? This is literally the soundtrack to every fantasy film. In case you didn't know, the song name is Green Sleeves. The trail of black mist from his sword makes him even better, and TT Games even gave this character his own unique smashing animation. Then there is Nathan Welcome. Garrett, who can fire electricity from his lance, and finally we have Dane Whitman, who can literally become Super Saiyan. Oh yeah, and how can I forget, you can also perform the It's Trees and Then special move. This may all be due to my love of medieval stuff, hence why LEGO Lord of the Rings is one of my favourite LEGO games, with it technically being one character, Black Knight was a must for me on this list. Yeah, this one may be a slightly personal pick, but Black Knight is awesome, there's no denying that, and if I had to pick the best of the three, I'm gonna go with Sir Percy. Thou shall not cross the next character, anyone up for a game of cards? At number 9, is Gambit. Oh my, this character is ridiculously broken. With one simple attack, he can eliminate any enemy, causing them to turn purple and, well, perish. Gambit is one of my favourite X-Men, and LEGO Marvel 1 perfectly portrayed him, while also making him one of the most versatile and insanely broken characters. But unfortunately, he cannot instantly explode big characters, unlike Green Goblin. At least you don't end up losing all your studs. Just in case you are wondering, Deadpool, Wolverine and Stan Lee don't die to him either. Now, when I was a kid, I can embarrassingly admit I thought Gambit had explosive cards, but it's actually a mutation which allows him to charge objects. I mean, it makes sense, and that is why Gambit is so fun to play. You can literally mop the floor of enemies. Coming in at number 8 is Quicksilver. I bet you didn't see that coming. <laughs> 
Quicksilver is the fastest LEGO game speedster across all LEGO games. Behind him in second place is Sonic from LEGO Dimensions. However, when Sonic does become Super Sonic, he does match the same speed as Quicksilver, but you can only stay a Super Sonic for a limited time. Now, if running at the speed of this doesn't impress you, Quicksilver has the ability to completely freeze time. Yes, as insane as that may sound, if you target any enemy or object in the open world, Quicksilver completely freezes time. And you can run up walls with Quicksilver too. Now, 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 I am going to let you in on a little secret. Okay, so yes, Quicksilver is the fastest LEGO game character, but there is a glitch within LEGO Marvel Avengers which allows you to become insanely fast. I mean, would you look at this? I can't even control it. At one point, I ended up going out of the Earth's atmosphere. Okay then, if you want to know how to do this glitch, if you equip Quicksilver's head onto two custom characters, I then suggest heading into the open world, and if you open up the character roster quickly switch between both of your custom characters the ones that you just made with quicksilver's head and then every time you do so it will double the speed of your character here is a question for you what do you get when you mix venom and carnage together carnage or is it carnum oh yeah that's right spider-man yes it's carnum at number seven now did you know that carnum's first appearance was actually in lego marvel superheroes 2 and he is pure symbiote. To say this character is a big character, his web slinging is so smooth and I love it when he turns and faces the camera. Then there is his special ability which is surprisingly brutal for a Lego game. He literally sucks in an enemy inside of him and then spits them back out in pieces. I really appreciate how TT made him different from Ultimate Venom in terms of his slam attack and idle animation. Nations. Talking about Venom, I had to place him at number 6. Everyone and their mum has seen this transformation between Venom and Big Venom. It is so iconic. Venom with inside LEGO Marvel 1 is still great, but Venom in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2 is even better. He has a charge-up ability that fires shards of symbiote all around him, and Ultimate Venom overall is animated to feel more accurate to Venom rather than just having the standard big character animation like he has in Marvel 1. I do have to say, however, the charge-up ability for Carnum and Ultimate Venom is useless. It doesn't do any damage at all, and it doesn't even knock over enemies. Like, what's the point? I kind of want to give an honourable mention to Agent Venom. This character is really unique, and I love how he wields guns with his symbiote. Into the top five, it looks like reality can't be whatever he wants it to be as he ain't number one, but he is still inevitable. Oh yes, it's Thanos. Tying in with the release of Infinity War, which I do think is better than Endgame anyway, we finally got Thanos in LEGO Marvel 2, and this by far is the best Thanos across all three LEGO Marvel games. Wielding the Infinity Gauntlet, Thanos has a massive amount of abilities such as time manipulation, teleport, building as a big character, destroying golden objects, mind control, and more. He can even make enemies fall endlessly via teleporters. I I feel bad for them. Flying around in your throne just feels menacing and it's a great way for getting around Chronopolis. Thanos undoubtedly has the best slam attack ever. He literally uses all the Infinity Stones and then just punches the floor. I would say this character is fun, but fun isn't something one considers when balancing the universe, but he does put a smile on my face. <laughs> Coming in just outside of the top three, at number four, we have a character that you may not even be aware of that you should be aware of. Because he is one of the most useful LEGO game characters in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes. Who is this character exactly? It is Super Skrull. Yeah, who exactly? Super Skrull is one of the many villains of the Fantastic Four, and what is so special about him is how he possesses all of the abilities of the Fantastic Four. He can super stretch, go invisible while flying, mind control, terminal access, pyrokinesis, super strength, he even has the thing's arms. Due to literally being all of the Fantastic Four in one, he has a total of six 
special attacks the most of any LEGO game character. Now, I would personally place Thanos above Super Skrull purely due to me enjoying Thanos more, but Super Skrull is one of the most useful characters in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 1 behind Stan Lee, of course. Anybody want some chimichangas? Luckily, he wore his red suit. At number three is Deadpool. I am sure you was all expecting this one. Everyone loves Deadpool, and he is actually one of the hardest LEGO game characters to unlock in LEGO Marvel 1, as you need to locate every Deadpool brick. These are within Deadpool's missions, and then you need to purchase all of the cheats, you little cheat. He even breaks the fourth wall in this game with his special ability where he uses features from the game. The character cannot die as he has regenerating abilities, and yes, Sometimes shut I up, Agent Coulson. I know that you wished that you had regenerating abilities too, but you don't. Now look, there is much better characters on the list than Deadpool in terms of abilities, and he even lacks a lot compared to the lower entries. Without him appearing in any other LEGO Marvel games since he kinda has become sacred to this game in a way making him even more enjoyable, if you get where I'm coming from. Uh, yeah. I am not being harsh here, but I don't think anyone really enjoyed Gwenpool, and I wish they decided to use another character that has no correlation to Deadpool, as every time you see Gwenpool or hear her, it's just reminding you of Deadpool. Now, at number two, this character kinda was tricky to place on the list, as you may argue he is multiple characters. Then again, underneath the helmet, it is always Tony Stark. Oh yes, it's Iron Man. LEGO Marvel Avengers went full throttle with Iron Man. You have Mark 1, Mark 5, Mark 6, Mark 7, Mark 16 who can go invisible. Heartbreaker Mark 25 with the drills and then you have Silver Centurion who actually came with the game if you pre-ordered it physically. Yes, there is even more. Then there is Mark 40 who is the speedster Iron Man. Mark 42, Mark 43, Mark 45. Then you have Superior Iron Man. How incredible does this look? He is even deflects enemies' projectiles, and yes, then there is the Hulk Buster. Oh my, if all of that didn't explain enough why Iron Man is the second greatest LEGO Marvel character, I do not know what will. Uh, okay, okay, fair enough, Iron Man in LEGO Marvel 1 isn't the best, and Iron Man in LEGO Marvel 2 was extremely bad, he was barely in the story too. I mean, how can you give us all of this in LEGO Marvel Avengers and then simply take it away from us? Nearly every single Iron Man suit I listed has its own distinct transformation, with each being so satisfying to watch. My favourite transformation of the lot has to be Superior Iron Man, or maybe Mark V. Maybe. Excelsioring his way into number one, the legend doesn't even need an intro. There he is. Stan Lee, the character with nearly every ability under the sun, but somehow he cannot escape the easiest scenarios. Stan Lee had me and you chasing him down relentlessly, but once you finally unlock Stan Lee, there is no other feeling better. The entire game becomes a breeze to go through, and I appreciate how each game differentiate Stan Lee from the last. Such as in LEGO Marvel Avengers, he has Iron Stan and a Stan Buster, and I still find it funny how he fires pencils from a bow. <clears throat> John Wick, you've got a little bit of competition going on here, bud. Just look at how many abilities this character has. You knew Stan Lee was going to be number one. You knew. 